Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video about my top 7 Anki add-ons. I posted a list here so you can get a look at which ones you might have already downloaded or which ones you might not have heard about. But really this list is going to be kind of introducing add-ons to people who haven't really been using them so far. Personally for me, add-ons have made a big difference in my Anki studying and I really hope that learning how to use add-ons to customize your studying will also make a big difference in how much you enjoy studying with Anki. So the first ones I want to talk about are uh, these three, the load balancer, customized keyboard shortcuts, and the review heat map. And these three, I think really everybody should be downloading. They're basically critical for uh, any user. So the load balancer is an add-on that makes it so you have about the same amount of reviews every day. So you won't have these peaks of 10 cards on one day and then 100 cards the next day and then 30 cards the next day. Instead you'll have like 30 cards, 30 cards, 35, 40, but it'll keep it about the same every single day. And for me, I wasn't somebody who really thought this was necessary for me. It's been a very popular add-on for a very long time. But once I finally installed it, I realized what a big difference it did actually make. And I think it is a very nice quality of life change. So I would recommend getting the load balancer. The next add-on I want to talk about is this add-on called Customize Keyboard Shortcuts. So normally when you're doing your reviews, you use 1, 2, 3, and 4 as your hotkeys. And then you have the space bar, which you can just hit to, to advance forward and mark it as good. However, with the customized keyboard shortcuts, you can set something that you can use on the right side of the keyboard. So that way you can use either your left hand with the 1, 2, 3, and 4, or your right hand with JKL and semicolon. And this seems like a really small change, but actually it's nice being able to switch your hands back and forth, especially because your hand will get cramped if you're just sitting here hitting the same buttons over and over. So I really think this is a huge uh, quality of life change as well. Another thing it does is it allows you to quickly undo any cards. So say you were reviewing a card a little too quickly and you wanted to go back. Instead of hitting Control shift z or something, you could just hit Z and that makes undoing cards a lot faster too. But really, the main benefit of this is being able to use the right hand for reviews. So I think this is an add-on that everybody should get. And the last add-on that everybody should get is the review heat map. And this heat map just shows you how many reviews you did each day. And it's a really great way of keeping track of how on top of your reviews you have been and just kind of building a streak and trying to keep the momentum going. So here, if you see, each green day is a day that I did my Anki cards. And it keeps track of a lot of different things. So your daily average, your days learned, longest streak, and your current streak. And I only recently downloaded this a few months ago. It's also one of those really popular add-ons that I just put off on installing for a really long time. But it really makes a difference because I think this 15 day streak is totally because I have this add-on. And I had a couple days where I was about to miss the streak and it was like 1 a.m. or midnight and I was like, oh crap, I can't miss the streak. So I ended up finishing my cards. And it's really great. You could go back all the way and check your history. So I've been doing Anki for a long time. I think this was for Step, so you can see I had some pretty good streaks there. The darker the boxes are, the more cards you reviewed. So I was reviewing like a thousand cards sometimes. And yeah, I, I really, really like this application. So this add-on is definitely a must-get as well. Now the next add-on I want to talk about is Anki Fanfare Gamification Feedback. This makes it so whenever you get a card right, it'll give you a little check mark and a little sound effect. And when you get a card wrong, it'll give you an X and a little negative sound effect. But it kind of just gamifies the whole thing a little bit. You get a little bit of rewards. You get a break every 30 cards is what I've set it at. It's very customizable, um, but it just makes the whole process a little bit more enjoyable. So let me give you an example. I'll just do some cards and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so there you just saw the startup image and the startup sound effect. You can totally customize the image that you see and the sound effect or music that plays. And I'll show you what happens when you get cards right. So you get these little sound effects, you get a nice green arrow, but you can change that to a picture if you want or different sound effects. And if you get things wrong, Okay, so you get that little negative sound effect. And then uh, here, uh, you get the break. So I set it at 30 cards normally, uh, but right now I have it at 10 cards or five cards or something, so I could just show you guys. But I, I just put a bunch of pictures of my cat, 
and I put some music in the background. Uh, and it gives me a short little break after I've done 30 or 40 cards. And it's nice. I like seeing pictures of my cat, so it's definitely very enjoyable. So you keep doing this. You start up again. You keep doing this. And then eventually, you will be able to finish your deck. And when you finish your deck, you, you get a reward as well. Um, so right now it's a picture of me and my wife and our cat. Um, but I haven't added any other pictures for it. And I'll get a little uh, sound effect or music to play. This time it was the Final Fantasy fanfare. Last time uh, it was the Gerudo Valley uh, theme. So maybe if I complete it again, I get a different song this time. Alright, so this time we got a different song. And you can just add whatever songs you like, whatever uh, song makes you feel good. So if you look at the website, You'll see uh, some people have done some cool things on here. For example, I made a Super Mario version out of this. I changed the start image to a Here We Go image with the new Super Mario's overworld theme. And the end screen now shows a course clear picture with the according Mario tune. I'm now looking forward to my Anki reviews. So you could totally customize this however you want. And it's really easy to customize. So I'll show you how I customize mine. You go to View Files, User Files. And for example, my reward, uh, no, my breaks. Um, I just put a bunch of pictures of my cat, um, just because it makes me happy to see her. Okay, so going back to the list of add-ons. Okay, so this one, I love this. I don't know if it's for everyone, but really, because you could customize it, I really think this probably should be included in the list of uh, the top um, ones that everybody should get as well. Uh, this one is True Retention by Card Maturity. Uh, it just allows you to keep track of your statistics a little bit better. Uh, and these two are for people who like to make their own cards. So image resizer, sometimes you'll have these gigantic images when you're taking a screenshot. Uh, when you use image resizer, you can make it so they're all the same size. So that makes it really nice that you don't have images that take up your entire screen. Frozen Fields is another good one for card makers because basically if you're making a card, I'll show you what it looks like. You'll get these uh, frozen fields here. So say I wanted to add a picture. So, picture of the liver. Okay, just something random. I'll take a picture of this. Then I'll go here and say this is like, I mean, this could be anything. It could be like a first aid picture or a diagram or something like this. Liver question one. Okay, and so when I make, when I make this, uh, when I make this card, this part will stay frozen and I won't have to keep copy pasting the same picture every single time. And that's really nice for when you have uh, lots of cards that are going to use the same diagram and lots of text that you wrote in there. So you don't have to keep uh, going back to figuring out what you wanted to include there. Uh, it's actually making a pretty big difference in uh, my card making. So liver question two, for example. Okay. And just briefly, I just wanted to show you what the true retention uh, statistics looks like. So if you look at stats, now you get a lot more info uh, with your true retention. Um, you can get on your mature cards, on your young cards, and on your totals. Uh, it just adds a little bit more information to make sure you're getting that 80 to 90% retention rate that I talked about in my previous video. Okay, so that was just a quick overview of some of my favorite Anki add-ons. Definitely the top three and possibly the top four I think everybody should get, um, especially if you're new to add-ons. Try them out, see if you like them, and I think I'm pretty confident they will make your entire review process a little bit more enjoyable. And now I just have some bonus add-ons that you might want to consider. Uh, button color is good again, not really the most important app. It just adds a little bit of color to your Anki. So when you're reviewing, you'll see you have red for again, green, uh, for good and blue for easy. Not a really the biggest deal, but I like to make it just a little bit more uh, aesthetic. So I, I liked that one. Uh, the Chinese support redux, if you're somebody who's studying Chinese. Image occlusion, for anybody who likes to uh, make anatomy cards or is still studying anatomy, this is a huge one to get. Speed focus and life drain, these are two that I've tried out personally and they weren't that effective for me, but they are very popular. I and mean, that's because they are 
two attempts to kind of gamify Anki uh, as well. So with speed focus mode, you can set times where it will play an alert. If you're going over 10 seconds, for example, it'll play a little sound effect to let you know you're taking a little bit too much time on that card. Uh, auto reveal, if you want it to reveal the answer right away um, after you've passed like 20 seconds or auto fail if you've passed too much time as well. So it really helps you uh, stay focused while you're doing your uh, reviews. Uh, life drain is pretty similar. You get this life bar and each card that you complete will boost your life bar back up again. But if you're taking too long on cards, your life will slowly, slowly drain uh, until it's game over. So it encourages you to do your cards as quickly as possible and get them correct in order for you to keep your life bar alive. These two are uh, some add-ons that seem very, very helpful and I haven't had any experience using them because it doesn't really work with my decks. So Pop-Up Dictionary, this is by Glutanimate. And this is a pretty cool uh, add-on. So any word that you highlight, it will bring up every single card that you have that word in. So Arnold Chiari mal Malformation, uh, he just double-clicked that, highlighted it, and every single card that he has in his deck is brought up. So it's a really quick way for you to cross-reference uh, the other cards in your deck. And Pop-Up Wikipedia is pretty similar to Pop-Up Dictionary. If you are somebody who uses Wikipedia a lot, all you have to do is highlight um, some text, press Control w Control shift w and it'll bring up the whole Wikipedia page for that. So I could definitely see that being useful for some people. Alright, so that's it for this video. Just wanted to introduce people to add-ons if they haven't been using them already. And hopefully you find something that makes the whole process of studying more enjoyable for you. I hope this was helpful, and let me know if you have any good suggestions, and thanks for watching.